Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for all of the support I've gotten. I actually don't take it for granted. I thank you so, so much. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button on the side and then also hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a very quick tutorial. Yes, when I say very quick, I'm going to, the name of this video is um, a flowing booboo. It's going to, um, five steps to sewing a, a, a flowing booboo. It is a beginner friendly um, booboo. So at the end of the day, we're just going to take just five simple steps and then we'll be able to create out this piece. So it is very simple and very easy. Okay, so before I continue, if you want to register for my online classes, so you could see my number scrolling through the screen. So just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll send you the different classes. I have about six different classes, right? I have the corset special class if you want to learn how to sew a perfect corset. The ready to wear class for those people that want to go into ready to wear business for you to be sewing ready to wear, ready made and car and then selling them online. And then I have the trouser and jumpsuit class i have an intermediate class i have a beginner's class and then i have seriously <laughs> and then i have the okay and then i have an advanced class for those people that already know how to sew but want to learn how to make new and trendy and pieces so that's just that okay so now let's get started okay so the first step like i said i actually wrote down all of the steps that we're going to be taking for this class the first step is measuring out the amount of fabric that we're going to need okay so the amount of fabric that i'm actually going to be making use of for this class is actually two yards of fabric so this is two yards and this um, fabric is a sample fabric so they usually come the, their lengths are usually very long it's like chiffon it's very long so it's about 60 that's the length and then this is my two years so i'm just going to i'm going to put it like this so you'll be able to see it okay so the first step that i have here so i'm just going to be taking them is to measure out the amount of fabric and then the yardage that we're going to be using so that's thick so the amount of fabric that i have here is actually two and a half yards of fabric and then this fabric that i'm using is a little bit stretchy it is a sample and material so you get them they come like this you can just buy them you can get them from your regular markets so once you ask them and then it is stretchy and then the length that's the beauty of these pieces the length is usually very long it's about 60 meters that's the full length of the dress so we're using two and a half yards and here is a very simple way to so the next thing that we're going to do now, that's the first step, I told you the measurement. The second step that we're going to do, we're going to join on our shoulder. Why I'm joining on the shoulder? Because I'm going to be using the entire of these two and a half yards of fabric. I'll use the full length and then I'll use the width. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take it to my machine. So this is the, this is the top part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on the wrong side. I will go and join. So you note, I've not opened the side of my fabric yet. You see, it's folded into two like this. It is folded into two. So what I'm going to do now, take it over to my machine. I'm going to join it on top like this. Because like I told you, I'm using the entire width that will serve as my sleeve and everything so i'll join it and then bring it back and show you so that's the second step okay so i finished joining it so i'm going to show you how it should look like right now so for this um booboo -boo, we're not going to be slanting or sloping the shoulder so you see it's joined there so that's that this part will join it will serve as my shoulder line so this side this is the side now i'm going to open up the side that's this other folded side i'm going to open it up just a little bit because as you can see my fabric is folded into two now so i'll open it and then fold it into four 
so you can still decide to open it up before you join it on the shoulder side so because the fabric is shaky so i don't want it to to shift so that is why so the next thing i'm going to do now is so you see it's folded into two so we we'll fold now into four so it's folded into four i'm just going to lay it out nicely okay so i folded out my fabric now so my fabric is folded into four so because of the length like i told you initially i'm using the entire length of my fabric which is 60 uh length 60 so that's what i'm using as the length of my booboo -boo because i want it flowing so i'm not going to cut out anything the next thing we're going to do now we're going to impute the measurement which is like the third step as in measure out the sleeve imputing the measurement so the what i'm going to do I, like i told you so i'm using the width as my sleeve dropping that's the sleeve dropping so for this part what i'm going to do i'm just going to come like this so i have about 22 inches here what i'm going to use actually is going to be 21 inches because of the folding and everything so at the end of the day it's going to reduce to 21 inches so is the fabric is folded into four so i want you to note the next thing i'm going to create i'm going to create my sleeve opening that's how this part of my sleeve that's the opening of my sleeve so for the opening of my sleeve you can actually do this in two ways there are some that you can actually um fold together like this to create your sleeve that's if you want it to have a lot a little bit of bulkiness so for this i really don't want my sleeve to have so much bulkiness so what i'm going to do normally you are, you are going to use your round sleeve measurement so if i say let me use my normal round sleeve measurement it's going to be tight so it's that one is not going to work so i'm going to create a sleeve opening of about 11 inches so this is about 11 inches for someone that is big you can do as much as 12 inches so at the end of the day this 12 inches now i'm going to gather it to come to about 6 inches because this part of my sleeve is about 12 inches so you use your band to gather it so I hope you understand that. So I have 12 inches. You can do as much as 15 inches. Depends on how full you want the sleeve part to be. So that's that. The next thing I'm going to do now from this part like this, I'm going to measure my waist measurement. So for the waist, I'm making use of 20 inches. I just want to, there's something I want to do. I want to create that side effect on the booboo. That is why I'm doing this. If not, if it is normal, you can just open your create your sleeve opening and then just use half half inch and then join the side and then you are good to go. So this is 20 inches for my waist. That's from shoulder to waist. And then from this shoulder to waist, I'm going to add 10 inches for my hip. So this is my hip line. So this is shoulder to hip on this line. Shoulder to hip. Then the next thing I'm going to do now. So this is where I'm actually going to be shaping from so i'm just going to mark it like this the next thing i'm going to do now on this part like this i'm not going to touch anything on this side like i told you so from this waist part that's this down you can decide to come down a little bit more so it depends on okay so i think let me just do let me do like 34 So I'm just trying to create, I want the down part to be a little bit smaller. So that is what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come like this. Remember that inch that I told you, that one inch. That. So I'm just going to mark it like this. So this is where I'm going to shape. So I'm trying to shape it from. So I'm using the same length. If you notice, I'm using the same width. That's from this top like this. I'm using the same width until it gets to this part. So once I get to this part, I'm going to reduce this part a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this part like this. Instead of using that 21 inches, I'm going to reduce this part to like 19 inches. So you can do, you can reduce it to as much as 18 inches. It's just to create one kind of effect up. So that is why I'm doing this. So I'll just mark it like this. So I hope you, I hope you understand what I'm trying to achieve. So I just want this top part to be a little bit bulky and then when it, as it's getting down it will reduce a little bit so on the down part of my booboo i'm going to mark how wide i want the down part of my booboo to be so you know my fabric is folded into four so i'm just going to check what i have here so i have this is 18 inches if i say let me use 18 inches that is going to be like 
36 inches so the width of my book is going to the down is going to be like 36 so i think i'm going to use 18 inches it's going to be okay so i'll just mark it like this so i hope the chalk is clear so from this part like this i'm just going to come like this it is very simple so i hope you understand so you see the shape i'm trying to adjust properly so on this top part is going to be a little bit bulky why this down part going from the knee downward is going to be a little bit slimmer so we're going to cut now actually from the top part you know we're really not cutting anything you know we have not added the neckline so i'm just going to go like this i'm just trimming like trimming this part a little bit So if you want it straight, you can just leave it straight. Like I normally say, most all the time, I actually don't cut on my actual lines. So if you have been following my tutorial, you would know that by right now. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do now, we are going to insert the neckline so for the neckline i'm going to be doing a wide neckline that's like a boat neckline but it's not going to be deep so i'm going to come to this part like this i'm going to mark about four inches that's the width and then the depth also so i'm going to use about four by four if you like the picture that i showed you earlier of this dress if you want to make the neckline to be that wide you can do five inches width that's you could do five inches width and then the depth can be four inches so if you want that kind of neckline so but mine i'm doing four inches i'm doing four by four so i'll mark it like this and then i'm going to cut it out like i told you i'm not slanting the shoulder so take note of that so i've already cut out my I'm just trimming this off. You know, I've already joined my shoulder. So we are done with our boo-boo. We are done. So I'm just trying to get my... I'm going to... Okay, so we are done. So we, are, we have measured our sleeve opening, which is like the third step. And then the fourth step is like shaping of our side. I've done that. So I will shape out the side. So it's remaining just one part. To complete that's join the side and then fix the sleeve so i'll show you how to join this right now so you see the neckline so you see it's wide you see that's what i was trying to say you see how wide it's looking so I'll, i'm going to use the side that i marked so what you are going to do now in joining this dress i'm going to leave our sleeve opening that we created so this is our sleeve opening. We use actually use 12 inches. So we'll leave the sleeve opening from this point. So I'm going to use half of an inch from this point like this. That's after the sleeve opening. I'm going to use half of an inch. I'm not, I'm going to join the side to the down part. So if you feel that the down is too wide, you can actually decide to. So you see mine is looking like what we have on the picture. So I'm going to use half half inch and then I'll join it to the down and then come back and show you how to gather the sleeves together. And then for your neckline, I, the neckline, I'm just going to use a bias binding just to sew around the neckline. Okay, so I finished stitching the side of my dress, but just there were some things that I noticed when I was sewing. You know, initially we after we used 12 inches to open up our sleeve opening. When I checked it after 
sewing it i put it on i noticed that it was not looking like what we had on the picture so i now took a good look at the pictures i noticed that the picture this part the sleeve was not actually not gathered so what they did this sleeve opening that was created is actually the exact round sleeve of the the person putting it on so what i did and i came to this part you know my sleeve round here is 12 inches so what i came when i came here divide it into two you have six so this is six inches and i made mine seven inches so you notice where i started sewing from now so i now had to instead of the 12 inches that we measured initially i'm now using about seven inches so this seven inches now what i'm going to do i have leftover fabric here so i'm going to use this part of this fabric i'm just going to fold it like this into two like this just to turn this part so i'm going to fold it out and then show you how to do that and then for the neckline so i used my bias binding i just used bias to turn it around so i've done the first stage of stitching so you just take your bias like this because this is a, like a beginner's video that's why i'm explaining so so much so you just place the bias from one edge like this you just place it like this this is the right side you place it and then you sew it around so i finished sewing the first part so what i'm going to do now i'm going to fold it in like this and then i'll stitch it round just to hide it so but if you want your bias to show on the right side you can decide to just reduce it a little bit and then you stitch and then your, your bias will show on top so it depends on what you want so i'm going to do that and then i'll cut out the round sleeve and then we'll just fix the round sleeve that's the end of the video okay so i finished uh, stitching what i want to use so this is the the width that i use so this is like a stretchy fabric is a suede so i have about two and a half inches so i, I stitch I actually stitched it here on two inches so i'm going to fix it so i just stitched it to secure it down so what i'm going to do now this opening now i'm just going to take it to my machine now and then i'll sew it around so that easy way to do that is this part i'm just going to open up this part a little bit so it's already open and then i'll stitch from this top part like this that's the center that's the shoulder joining i'm just going to take it like this and then this is the right side so i'll turn it like this. it's not going to be a turn up it's just a normal sleep so i'll sew it around like this and then it comes to this part just to have just to elongate it a little bit and just to give color to it so i'm going to go and do that so that's the end of the dress and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see how it looks on her okay so at the end of the day so you see how our flowing booboo looks like so for the neck line depends on how you want to drop it so you can actually drop as much as you want or you can actually decide to just put it straight so it depends on you so at the end of the day so you see the blocking nature on the sides and then you see the down part is, is flowing and then it is straight so thank you so much so if you find this video so you see this side also it's looking so beautiful so if you find this video helpful please i would appreciate if you will hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video